All right, welcome back. So in this video, we're gonna talk about layers. So if I click on this little layer icon here, you can see all our little layers right here, right? Okay, so with layers, you have a couple options. You can show all items, you can show images, you can show shapes, and you can show text. So that's kind of a way to categorize or separate your layers. So you can specifically go to a layer that you're looking for. So for this example, we'll do all layers or all items. And if I right click on it, I can do a lot of things. I can copy, paste, paste appearance, duplicate, delete, rename, lock, hide, group, make component, add character, style to assets, mark for export, export batch, and then export selected. Okay. So remember we were talking about assets in the previous video. We can add this to the assets to the character style to assets, okay? And you can do that with each and every one of these, okay? It doesn't, you can make component. So with the shapes, it doesn't let you do it as much. Make component, it depends on what the item is here, if it's an image, shape, or text. And that will determine where it will go in the assets area, okay? So that's the layers panel. Like I said, there's not a lot to it in this program because this is a very simple interface and layout for Adobe XD, but the whole idea is to make it simple so you can get right to what you're working on, All right? So that's that. But again, whenever you add a new layer, so let's say that we say, oh, well, I need to add a rectangle, okay? When I do that, it goes to the top of the list. And if I want to take it to the bottom of the list, we just click on it, we select it, and then drag it down, okay? And we can select a different layer. So I'm going to select that again and drag it down here. Okay. And there you go. And so the nice thing about this is when you don't label anything, it gets a little confusing, right? And here's the other thing. So if so, you saw how I, um, let's double click on the artboard here. Okay. So if I click on this little arrow here, it's going to say artboards. So if I click on that, it'll take me to all the artboards that we have. And then we can select the one that we want to work on. Okay. And when I just click on it once and use the, the, uh, the mouse to click on it, right. We can select the one we want to work on. And then if I double click on it and not on the text itself, but on the icon, then it'll take me to that, uh, artboard. Okay. So that's how you utilize the layers tool. All right. So thanks for watching. What I'm going to do now is we're going to save the document. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.